Anthony Fantano is one of the greatest YouTubers on the platform and is arguably the most influential music reviewer around. He is known for his music reviews on his main channel, The Needle Drop, which has been going for just over 10 years now. Although I've always enjoyed The Needle Drop, I'm currently a much more avid watcher of his second channel, Fantano. On this channel, you will find track reviews, as well as Let's Argue and Let's Agree, which are both absolutely fantastic, and also a relatively new series called Reviewing Your Music, which is such a great idea. It also has countless other videos. There there is one series you won't find on this channel though, and that's Meme Review. The memes. The memes. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of The Meme Review. For those of you who don't know, that is the plan was Anthony's Terminated channel, and made him the OG king of meme reviews. PewDiePie had nothing on this. He had reviews on everything from Dat Boy to Jesus Christ It's Jason Bourne to Don't Talk To Me Or My Son Ever Again. The shit post levels of these videos were through the roof. The outro for these reviews was so insane, it was just random clips smashed together and every video it would get longer and longer. The channel That Is The Plan was not only for meme reviews, he also did funny sketch videos where he would pretend to give his opinion on things, but really he was just taking the piss. Donald Trump's top 5 cabinet picks being the pinnacle for me personally. Another classic had to be bullying other YouTubers, which was a joke, he didn't actually bully anyone. Except for maybe Chris Reagan. Chris Reagan? More like Chris Reagan. I think the real charm of this channel came from the juxtaposition with the needle drop. Sure, the needle drop had some funny moments with Cal Chuchester, but when you see a guy who's built his entire career off being knowledgeable, analytical, and articulate start screaming into a camera about that boy, it's incredible. That is the plan was beautiful, and truly a golden star in the void of endless YouTube content. So what happened? October 3rd, 2017. All of That Is The Plan's videos are removed and replaced with this video of his 20 second still image demonetization symbol. Anthony states on both his Twitter and his Facebook page that the channel is dead. On Twitter especially, Anthony discusses why the channel is dead and echoes these points in his Fader response video three days later. Fader had written a piece on how That Is The Plan panders to the alt-right. All the points made in the article are false, and Anthony explains how each point is ridiculous due to the point being made out of context. For example... And the first shocking reveal is, is this photo? Is this photo of, of, of me during a video where I'm parodying Hops? And fans. And the full reveal of this photo is this. The man is hanging himself with toilet paper. Toilet paper, not a noose. Which, if you didn't know, has been a pretty viral internet meme over the past year or so. Kids blowing up on platforms like the now defunct Vine, just kind of uh, <laughs> hanging themselves with toilet paper in the bathroom and like dropping off of their bathtubs. And off of sharing this meme, you're going to insinuate that I'm an alt writer and that I'm racist and I want people, specifically black people, to be hurt. However, his comments about YouTube's actions seem a lot more understanding, stating that there are forces out of YouTube's control, forcing them to have excessive due diligence on advertisement monitoring. Although I agree with that point, YouTube was still demonetizing him for out of context reasons. There was never anything inherently wrong with that is the plan, and any topic considered offensive in the videos was used either for memes or satire. I'm disappointed Anthony didn't put up more of a fight for his channel, but I understand why. As he stated, he was unsure how That Is The Plan would affect his main channel and therefore his main source of income. Was That Is The Plan worth fighting for? Yes. But in reality, it could have ended his whole career. So That Is The Plan is gone, and there won't be any new videos for that channel again. But his original videos aren't lost forever. There are a huge amount of his videos re-uploaded on YouTube. Also, his fader response video is a goldmine of unlisted videos from That Is The Plan for you to enjoy. I also found this Reddit post with loads of unlisted videos of his. Links to all these sources are in the description. That Is The Plan is gone, but it is not lost. And every now and again, you can see a little bit of That Is The Plan seeping into his main videos. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I've not done a video like this before where I talk about a channel but I enjoyed it so let me know what you think and I look forward to seeing you next time